Hi everybody, good to see you again, as always. Do you remember my shop house? <laughs> In the last video, we decorated the bathroom upstairs. In this video, we are going to decorate the bedroom and the living room. Here is a copy of the actual house. I'm just going to use this uh, to demonstrate how to paint it and then after that we'll switch to the actual house and start decorating. Okay, we start with painting the ceiling in an off-white color. We have to paint it twice in order to cover it evenly. So you do this uh, ceiling as well as the um, bedroom ceiling. And then continue with the bedroom walls. And the bedroom is pink. Yes, I want a lovely romantic pink for the bedroom. We uh, put on one layer, let it dry, and then do it twice. I'm gonna switch to a nice, gorgeous turquoise. Pink and turquoise together. I mean, what a fabulous combination. When it's dry, we'll do the floor. And with the floor, we go all the way over to the wall. Careful, careful, don't touch the wall. We also extend the color onto the steps on the staircase. And then the underside of the staircase. And this is what it will look like when it's finished. Beautiful, isn't it? Next, we look at the window frames and the door frames. First, I gotta measure the size of the frames and then I cut them out of quite thick uh, ordinary paper. Now this one isn't finished yet. So I just cut little squares according to the lines that I drew. Out it comes like this. Now this one goes on the outside of the window. I'm just gonna use a little bit of glue around the outside of the window. Stick it on, making sure it's straight. And then the other one on the inside. Next, the door frame. As you can see, I have cut it way too long. And that is so that I can adjust it exactly to the height that it is. So I can start with making a little fold here and see if that's better. Yeah, almost right. So I think I'm gonna cut it there. A little bit of glue on the edges, pop it on. Beautiful. And now I've done the same thing on the door in the bedroom and uh, the window in the bedroom on this side. Next, we do the furniture. These are two cute little shelves. Let me show you how I made them. So what I've done here, I have glued two matchstick boxes on top of each other and then added little shelves. So I have here some strips that I've cut from some cardboard, cut them up and glue them inside the matchbox like this to form shelves. Let's paint them off white on the inside as well as the outside. I think I'm gonna need two layers to make the paint cover really well. Next, I'm gonna make a little sofa like this. Now, let me show you how I make it. I need the toilet roll, cut the toilet roll to this length. Then we need to shape it. So I squeeze here. Can use a ruler to make it a nice straight squeeze. I squeeze this together. As you can see now, it's uh, way too big, so I'm gonna make a cut and then cut off a piece on this side and on this side, like that. When you're happy with the size, you glue it together. There. Then, when it's uh, dry, I trace off the shape two times, cut it out and glue it to each side of the sofa until you get one that looks like this. And now this one is ready to paint. Off-white, yeah. Next, we'll paint the sideboards on the sofa turquoise, the same color as the wall. When the sides are dry, I'll do a bit of pattern with the same color. Just some little random dots here and there. Oh, that's a nice fabric. Oh, looking gorgeous. Okay, next, the bed. I have here a little uh, box. I have made a backboard for the bed that I'm gonna glue onto here. 
and a little heart above the board and I've cut a bed sheet out of paper that goes on top here. First the backboard like this, then the cute little heart there and then the bed cover, stick it on and while the bed is drying Let's make the railing for the staircase. Now this is just uh, a stick with some uh, match sticks uh, stuck onto it from the back. Let's paint it white. When it's dry we'll uh, put on some glue down here and let's stick it on. Nice one. I'll hold it for a few seconds until the glue sets. Then. Let's paint the bed off-white on the board and a pink heart on top. There. Beautiful. Next, I want to build a table and I have found two little caps. This is a drinking bottle cap and some other little cap of some sort. Now look what happens when I put them on top of each other like this. And maybe it doesn't look like a table now, but when I put it in front of the sofa, look what happens. That's a neat little table, isn't it? Let's uh, glue it together like that. Above the table, I want a nice lamp. One of those fancy round lamps like this hanging low over the table. So I have here two toothpicks glued together and then attached a little cardboard bit uh, in the end. So if I stick this in now into the lamp and then this bit I glue to the ceiling so I get a nice ceiling lamp like this. Beautiful height right above the table there, very fancy. I'll paint it pink, just the same pink as the uh, bedroom interiors. There, now this needs to dry. Let's uh, look at uh, making a painting for the wall in here. Now I've cut out this little uh, round frame out of cardboard, painted it off-white and now let's uh, make the painting inside. Here I have pink paper and check out this cute little technique here. Here I have the same dark grey that I used for the floor. So now I just make some squiggles, sort of modern looking Japanese squiggles, some little dots perhaps. There, now we can move the frame over various parts of the squiggle and then trying to frame out the picture. What looks the best? Is it this one, this one, like that? You know, move it around until you find the right picture for your frame and then we just cut it out. This is what I selected. Then I just put a bit of uh, glue on the back of the frame Stick on the painting. Yeah, nice. Okay, I'm gonna stick it up uh, later. But first, we are gonna make wooden floors. Uh, wooden planks that goes along the floor. So we need to stripe up the floor. Just work through the whole floor, just like this. And it gives a perfect impression of wooden uh, flooring. There, finished. Oh, what a beautiful floor it is. Next, I'm gonna do the walls in the bedroom. Now I'm gonna spot up the whole thing. See, this is how you create the illusion of wallpaper. And you can create any wallpaper you like in the whole world. Let's put in all the furniture. Starting with the bed. Right in the middle. And I have also made here two little uh, pillows. I'm gonna squeeze a bit, they're made out of cardboard and then painted off-white on one side. And I have a little helper here. It's a tweezer. Left pillow, right pillow, okay? Then I'm gonna put up the painting. I'm gonna use a bit of um, tack rubber. Uh, take a little piece, put it on the picture frame part here. Squeezing it on. And then the shelves. I'm going to do the same thing with this little shelf here because I want this to be hanging from the wall. There and uh, the sofa goes under the window, the table and 
the fancy pink lamp. I'm going to put some glue on the top and then glue it to the ceiling. Now, I feel like adding some uh, items to the shelves. They look a bit empty and boring now. So I have here the world's largest scissors. Yes, and I have two straws, two drinking straws, one black and one pink. And I'm just cutting some pieces of different length. Then I take my tweezer and start putting some in. Let's see what happens. There is one and another one. Pink one on the other side. Oh, gorgeous. Very minimalist interiors, but really, really nice. I want to move in as soon as possible. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for watching my video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe so that you won't miss hundreds of epi other episodes and uh, future episodes and other episodes that is coming quite soon.